teacher Jenny join me for another topic this time I'm going to show you how to do uh, a simple descriptive measure or how to compute a simple descriptive measure using Microsoft Excel with a given data so let's start off with this so assuming that this is your data and you wanted to compute for the descriptive measure such as the mean the standard deviation and many others all you have to do is to make sure that you've got the data analysis tool pack for the excel uh, file so how to check you can go to the file and then look for the options and then you can check on the add-ins and then you can uh, go down below here you can find the excel add-ins you can click on that one go and then you are going to check on the analysis tool pack and also the analysis tool pack vba and then click on ok so once you're done with that one you can find your um data analysis on your header somewhere on the data okay there you go so here if you try to look at uh, the data menu here you can find the data analysis you can click on that one and you have you can find the different data analysis tool that you have for the excel we have the ANOVA, we have for the single factor, ANOVA for the two factor with replication, ANOVA two factor without replication, correlation, covariance, descriptive statistics, exponential smoothing, F test, and many others. So those are the different analysis tools. Now, if you want the descriptive statistics wherein you wanted to find only the mean, the uh, standard deviation, and many others, you can click on the descriptive statistics. So, sorry on the roosters. And here under the input range, you can click on uh, the cell that you wanted to include under or for the computation, computation of your descriptive statistics. Or you can actually manually input that one, but that will be too taxing. So you can just click on this button here and then drag uh, from the very start of your um, input range and down to the last one. Now, uh, this one is grouped by columns. This is by columns. The data here is grouped by columns because there are other data that are grouped by rows. So you can click on that one if the data was grouped by rows. But since this one is grouped by columns, so we just have to leave it as it is because it's already highlighted in there. Now if you include on the labels in your first row, then you will be clicking on the labels here but since we did not highlight the label as part of our uh, range there so you will not be checking this one so go directly to the output options wherein this would somehow give you the uh, knowledge as to where you are going to put your output maybe you wanted to have it on the output range like within this um sheet you wanted to have the output there then you can click on the output range but if you wanted to have it on a new worksheet that means to say here if you wanted to have this one the new worksheets here or place if you wanted to have the output placed here then you can click on the new worksheet apply and if you wanted to have a new workbook meaning to say another file another excel file then you can use or check the new workbook. But if you wanted to only have the output range, then you can click on this one. And then click on this so that you would know where to put your descriptive statistics output will be. So let's say if I'm going to put it here on F, then I can do that one. And then we have here 
Uh, summary statistics if you want to. Confidence level for mean if you want to include that one. Um, this is for if you wanted to compute for the, or do the hypothesis testing part. If you wanted to input your confidence level, then you can input that one. But if you don't need that one, because here we wanted to compute only the mean and the standard deviation, so we can have it like that. And then we can go and click this one here. Okay, please choose one statistical uh, tool only according to that one. So all you have to do is to click on the summary statistics. So let's try that one if that will work. Okay, there you go. So as you can see, we have now the different summary of the statistics that we can find. Under descriptive statistics, we have the mean, which is equivalent to 43. According to this data here, we have the mean or the average, which is 43.71. The standard error, we have 1.328. Take note in our uh, most of the cases in our data gathering or computation, we always have to round it off to the nearest hundreds place or nearest uh, two decimal places or we are until up to two decimal places so you may go and uh, round this off to two decimal places you can have it here uh, you can simply highlight this one and then you can simply do this click on this uh, you can either increase or decrease decimal but since we wanted to have it two decimal places only we can go for decreasing that one because we've got more decimal places. So you can go for that one and then there you go. That will be our result in uh, two decimal places. So we have the mean which is 43.71, standard error which is 1.33, and then median which is 44. Median stands for the middle of the value. And then we have the mode, the most frequent value, which is 26. 26 appears uh, often on this data. And then standard deviation, that will be how spread the data are away from the mean. So since we have a bigger uh, standard deviation here, that would mean that our data is widely spread away from our mean. And then we've got the sample variance. We've got also the cortosis. Uh, this refers to the height of our uh, distribution and then the skewness here the skewness here refers to um, how well your distribution looks like uh, if you've got a zero in there that means to say that you have a normal distribution but if you've got a 0 0.03 that means to say it's um, more skewed to towards the right i believe so and then we've got the range here the range is the uh, difference between the highest value on the data and the lowest value then we've got the minimum that's the lowest value on the data and then maximum that's the highest value on the data and then the sum of the data and then the count the count refers to how many data are we having here so those are now the descriptive um, statistic information or the measures that we can get out from the data using our Excel. So I hope that you learned something. So you can try and practice that one so that you will be able to get uh, the mean and the standard deviation right away on your data using the Excel.